Hello everyone, welcome to the GOA Ecologist. I am Dr. Krishnanand and you have been watching my videos on geomorphology and landforms. So in this session on landforms, we are going to learn about aeolian landforms. So the word aeolian itself is the beginning of today's session. So before we go ahead, please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share the videos with others as well. So now let's learn about the important landform that is aeolian landforms so remember the word aeolus that is the latin and greek god of winds so we have already discussed this in the process geomorphology that is in the denudational processes so aeolian landforms are made by the wind action so wind action is more prominent where in the desertic landscape because of the convection cycle that is because of the differential heating so wind action and landforms are together known as aeolian landforms in the part of geomorphology that we study so let's learn about it so as we know this wind that is coming from the word that is aeolus or iolus that is lot of winds that is important and what happens due to wind this kind of erosion or removal of these soil particles happen so what is important for this removal we have already learned about it so just once revise it here as well so the size of the soil particles matter then their lump or the shape matters are they in group or are they sorted are they unassorted that is what matters then velocity of the wind matters so these are the three important things that matter so it all depends upon these three things will the material be eroded to what extent it will be carried and in what way it will be deposited so what happens when there is erosion by wind remember wind is the dominant erosional agent or the depositional agent where in the deserts that then desert floor get heated up as we know and too quickly because of this dry barren lands and there is a convectional storm creation so high speed of wind being there so what are these different kinds of wind that is there eddies whirlwind updraft downdraft these all depend upon the directions that we learn so these are various kinds of wind which are there and these are related to what we understand as the aeolian process so what happens what is the resultant of this the deflation abrasion and impact so remember either there is a deflation so deflation hollows are created by the action then there is a abrasion so remember this abrasion process when wind carries these small important particles which attacks this through this particles then it is abrasive action and then there is impact so the pressure of the wind that leads to this kind of impact so these are the important things that happen in the desertic conditions so now when we say deserts let's locate the words desert and understand where these aeolian features must be found for maximum so if you observe different continents you can find this in subtropical rain shadow coastal interior polar all kinds of deserts are there on the entire continental landscape of the earth so california mexico sonoran atacama patagonia namib kalahari greatest one is called sahara as we know then you have Karakum, then you have Turkestan, Gobi Desert, Taklamakan, Thar Desert, Western Australian Desert. So all these deserts that are major names on your screen that are important where wind is a major agent of erosion as well as deposition which is part of the aeolian landforms. So let's understand what happens. In desertic conditions there can be plain area as well and hilly area or mountainous area as well. So what happens where there is a plain area? where desert is there in the plains there these features are found the name of the features are here we are going to elaborate on all these features so remember the name erg playa which is also known as sabkha that is lakes reg and hamadas that is the desert pavements so erg playa reg and hamadas and that is important features where in the planar areas of the desert but when desertic condition is there in the mountainous area then what is found so here is bajadas which are the coalescence of these alluvial fans remember in desertic areas where you have mountains at the foothills there are depositions so these are the coalescence of these material called bajadas then you have pediments so pediplanation cycle we have already learned the lc king's concept so these pediments are at the foothills they are joined together in the plain surface in the hilly areas which are not exactly plain but in the arid regions what we have is this pedi plains so these pediments when they join together they form the petty plains so remember plain desert or mountainous desert they will have different kinds of features now one by one we are going to look at all these features so first feature that we learn is the erosional landforms by the wind action so first let's see what happens when wind erodes so here what you observe is the first important feature that is called reg or hamadas what are these these are the pavements on the desert these pavements on which you can walk through 
So that is why it is called desert pavements. And Hamada in Arabic basically means a rocky plain surface. Now remember how it is formed. It is formed by this process which is called deflation. Remember, wind erodes these important materials and these important pebbles and important rock fragments which are heavier are remaining there. So what happens? Gradually the soil part or the smaller particle part is removed and what remains back is these rocky pavements. That is what we know as regs or hamadas. But it's not enough. Remember, reg is the name in Western Sahara. The same feature is called serir in the Eastern Sahara. So names, these local names vary. So what you have to remember for your competitions or for your knowledge is these local names of desert pavement. So what is that? Reg in Western Sahara, Serir in Eastern Sahara, Jibber Plain in Australia and Sai that is in Tarim Desert in Central Asia. So these are various names of the same feature and now you know how these features formed by the Aeolian erosion. Then what we know is already this pediments and pedi plains that we have studied in the pedi planation by L.C. King. So what is this? If you observe what is happening, these hills have been eroded and these materials are now residual part of this broken down have now fused together and now they are looking like a plain surface but they are not exactly plain they are like this small boulders and you know they are fused together so what you see is this entire plain area here but if you go close and if you see these are pediments at the foothills so this is what we know as pedi plains so they are basically what gently inclined rocky floors they are rocky floors that is important close to the mountains at their foot with or without thin cover of debris and these are known as pediments so this is what a pediment or a pedi plain means in india if you observe the sections in lahul spiti and ladakh in the desertic conditions in the cold deserts you can find such pediments or pedi plains well exposed on the surface of the earth now let's understand this entire process as well again so what you see pediments are formed with a steep wash slope now remember the wash slope and the gravity slope so wash slope is this gentler slope so steeper wash slope is there and this is what you see is gravity slope so what happens there is a parallel retreat that we have learned through the concept of pink and also lc king so slope position was this now it further eroded, it went here, it further eroded, it went here, further it happened. So what happens continuously from position 1 to position, this particular position, what has happened? There is a continuous retreat of the slope. This is what we call as parallel retreat, right? So what happens here? On the both sides of the valley, that's why it is a parallel retreat. What happens? There is this back wasting. Now what is back wasting? We have already learned this is going backwards and this entire material is being now going into this pediment formation. So that is what the pedi plane formation happens. So this is the entire parallel retreat process, back wasting related to it and this is where pedi planation happens. So if we look furthermore, what you see? Through parallel retreat of slopes, the mountain gets reduced leaving an inselberg or remnant. So remember the Penck's work in which the remnants is called inselberg. It looks like this kind of structure. And remember at the foothills, there are rocky pediments which form these pedi plains. So basically that is how the high relief in desert areas is reduced to the low featureless plains which you can see in the rocky deserts of different parts of the world. So that is what is important in the pedi planation as well. The next important feature is something called deflation hollows. Now remember, this is the rock surface and what has happened, if you see this kind of caving structure, so wind has attacked it here, right? And this portion has now eroded gradually and this, this impact of this wind, it has now been deflated. So there is a hollow creation in this. That is what is known as deflation hollows. Apart from that, one of the most interesting features that is available in these aeolian landforms is something called hoodoos or mushroom rocks or pedestal rocks. So we all know these names. Mushroom you must have had or you must have seen. This is the shape of the mushroom. A neck is there and then there is a flower. This is what we know as mushroom rock. The pedestal fan, if you have observed, there is a stand of the fan and there is a fan here. So if you know this pedestal fan. So same kind of rock structure is there. This is known as mushroom or pedestal rocks or these hoodoos. Hoodoos is basically what a French word hoodoos basically means what? It is resembling human face. So if you look at these features, what do you see? It looks like some kind of human or animal face. These are known as hoodoos. And there is another terminology for this. This is called demoiselles. So in French, these demoiselles mean ladies with hairdo. So 
ladies when they make up their hair they look different so that is what they look like so this is what it resembles so that is where the name is given demoiselles so remember the name hoodoos demoiselles pedestal rocks mushroom rocks these are the desertic or aeolian features so these happen with gradual development and erosion so this is important now the next important feature is called yardangs now remember this terminology yardangs it is important feature of the aeolian landform why and how so this is basically a ridge and furrow structure so ridge you already know this is what we see the ridge the ridge line right and what is a furrow a furrow is this particular x shaped thing which goes into the soil when a farmer plows the soil so this is what we know the furrow so what has happened if you observe that nature this wind itself has acted like a furrow so it has gone through this and insides these ridges are there but in between in the direction of wind this have been completely eroded so this is why we know this yard as a ridge and furrow structure so this is available where water is scarce that is why it is desertic condition strong winds are there so strong winds are must because of this kind of erosion along this entire surface then unidirectional wind is important so our direction has to be very specific of the wind in a single direction and then abrasive sediment load remember when wind is flowing like this it has to have these particles only then this headward erosion can take place and whatever is there in the between it will be removed because of this impact of these important particles so this is what we know as abrasive sediment so abrasive sediment load is important so this is very famous where it is found in gobi desert in china this is one of the major features that you see here on the image as well further many hoodoo features are also found in white desert landscape of the egypt so you can observe it there as well if you ever travel then further there are other erosional landforms like venti facts now what is there you see this rock boulder it must have been like complete boulder in between what you see a vent has been created by this wind action so where there is a line of weakness there is a wind action continuously happening then it is fractured or it is fragmented into different parts it is basically what we know as sand blasting so sand blasting is what again wind has these particles it attacks the surface and it creates this kind of important hollows so what happens these kind of vents are created in these important rocks in the alien landforms and that is what you know as the sand blasting action and venti fact formation then if you have ever used an ink pot remember earlier ink pot structure used to be like this ink pot used to come in this kind of package so this was used to be the cap and this used to be the packet so chell park ink was there when we used to have this in childhood days in 90s so this is what we know as the ink pot structure it is called zeugen z e u g e n so what you see here is this is the cap this is the neck of the bottle and the rest of the body is in the ground so this is the structure which is known as zeugen so where it happens remember what has happened earlier this entire structure was like this so why only this is remaining now because this entire structure has been eroded only this hard part of this landscape is remaining so only this hard cap rock is there on the top and the rest of the feature is there but other parts have now been eroded off by the wind so this is called zeugen now coming to the depositional landforms by the wind so wind wind takes out the material it deposits in the form of dunes as we know so these are the sand dunes as we have seen various kinds of sand dunes have different names so when it is a crescent shape it is called barkan if it is semi crescent it is called seaf dune it can be a parabola as well so this is called parabolic structure of dune then it is transverse so if wind direction is like this but deposition is lateral so along the sides then it is called transverse dune then if it is along the direction of wind when the material is deposited it is called longitudinal dunes so these are various kinds of sand dunes which are the depositional feature by the wind then further the other depositional feature by the wind is known as erg it is also known as dras so what is this erg remember we talked about when there is a plain surface when it is not a mountain surface so what happens this is an entire dune sea that we see or sand sea that we observe or sand sheet so this is the upper surface where this entire sand deposition is there in the desertic condition so this is known as erg so you must have seen in various sand depositions in different parts of the world or you must have seen in movies or in pictures this is what we know as the sand sea or dune sea or the sand sheet this is known as erg 
and ergs are also known as dras. So a broad flat area of desert covered with wind swept sand with little or no vegetative features, right? And these smaller features that you see created by the wind erosion, these are called ripple marks. Remember, these are like water ripples created in the water if you throw a stone. Similarly, it is a ripple mark here. These kind of marks can be also observed on the sea beaches as well because the wave action. So here wind also has ripple marks. So remember this, erg, dras, ripple marks, sand dune, sand sea, these are important features. Furthermore, what you see here is playas, which are also known as sabka or lakes. So these are the lake depositions that you see here. So what happens in desertic condition when you have water bodies? So what happens? This is now gradually getting dried because of too much of evaporation and salt depositions can be observed all around this. So these kind of lakes are known as playas or sabka lakes. So that is important. So what you see here is that pan, flat or dry lake that is flat bottom depression found in desertic basins. These are known as playas. So evaporation causes this deposition of salt, sand and mud that is at the bottom as we have seen in the image as well. And the final feature in the depositional feature is very famous lowest deposits as we know. So remember Yellow River in China, look at this image. So what happens? These small silts which are of yellow color are now taken away the, by the wind and deposited in the river. So it looks like this. So these are the important yellow depositions of lowest in various parts of the world. And very famous Huanghu River in China is known as Yellow River because of deposition of these aeolian lowest features. So now, when you have learnt about the aeolian landforms, various types, various small names, important features all across the world. So now, in the lectures to come, we are going to look at the next set of landforms and that is going to be the karst landforms. So stay tuned, stay safe and the best wishes to you.